Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another like part of Vlogmas basically. So my kids are now back at school and I've been literally going out shopping and getting last minute gifts and things like that. But today I thought that we can sit at home and I'll show you what I picked up. So I've been to Ikea and I picked up bits for like Christmas Day for like the table. So I thought I would show you that in this vlog. And also, so we're going to do a bit of an Ikea haul. And also, um, I thought we'd do like a bit of a wrap with me and I'll just chit chat to you and all of that. And I just thought that we'd have a nice day at home, seeing as we don't really have much else to do, if I'm honest with you. And I've got loads of wrapping still to do and all of that jazz. But yeah, the kids are back at school now, so I'm glad that they are there because it gives me a few more days to sort my life out before Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to show you what I got from Ikea first. Okay, so I thought I would just sit here and show you. Right, so when I went in Ikea, the reason I was going was because I was lacking like matching white plates and things like that and glasses. Like I'd smashed a lot of my glasses over like the past, well ages i've never got matching glasses and i've always now i've only got we're, we're actually down to our last two glasses and um, so i thought i would go to okay it's the best place to sort of get it all in bulk isn't it for a good price so i've got these glasses here which are they're just wine glasses and i actually really really liked them um i don't know why i just like them they're quite plain but they looked like they'd be nice to drink out of um don't really have many wine glasses because we don't really drink like alcohol but the way I said my mum and dad don't drink alcohol either and the way I see it is I want it to look really posh and lovely on the table so I've got to have some wine glasses um but you can have other drinks in it you don't have to have wine but I will probably have Asti in it because I do like Asti at Christmas I don't know if you've ever tried it I don't really I'm it's going to be an unpopular thing but I'm not really a gin drinker I'm not really a drinker I don't drink but Generally, I don't like gin. I don't understand any of you that like gin. I'm not gonna lie. Very unpopular, I know, but I don't like it. So it tastes like not that I've sat and drunk nail polish remover, but or perfume, but that's what it tastes like. Um, but yeah, so I got these. I just thought I got six of them. I actually really only needed four, but I wanted to set the table to match. So I thought now these were like, oh my goodness, they were like one pound something each which are not exactly the cheapest well actually i actually don't know if they're the cheapest if i'm honest but i thought they were really nice and then matching they also look nice in my cupboard after so let's be honest but yeah i've got those wine glasses then one of the other things i really wanted to get and i couldn't believe how the price of this is i wanted to get a, just a plain white um tablecloth this has got a little bit of a design on it if i can try and show you it's got like a little pattern on it um, but this was only five pounds and the size of it was one four five by two forty. I might try it in a minute just to see if it does actually fix. I never know the size of a tablecloth and I don't measure it, so you know, it's my fault. But yeah, I got this because I thought I can then dress it up Christmas Eve, but also keep this for all year round if I need it. So I got that and it was only five pounds, which I haven't seen after they're quite expensive tablecloths I've been looking at. So that was a bargain out of IKEA, I think. And then again, now this is all not just for Christmas. So bear in mind, I'm going along with this, but it's a good time to buy it at Christmas because I've got my mum and dad coming around. But obviously, it's good to have because I actually need these things. Um, so I just got these and you can't really see them majorly. They're literally just glasses. <laughs> so these were actually a pack of six for three pounds, which again, I thought were really good because these are really thick. Um, and yeah, they're just glasses basically. Nothing special. And then biggest reason I actually went to Ikea was I needed plates. I needed matching plates. Now, I saw these and they said they were new in. Um, and they are, I have no idea what they're called if there's a name to them. No idea. But anyway, they're these plates and they've got like that edge in. And I just thought they were really pretty. And again, I don't have a matching set. Now, I could have bought a matching, entire matching set. But here's the thing. You can only really get them in fours, and I need them in sixes. So I just thought, get the planes or the planes, the planes, not the planes. I'm dreaming of holidays. Can you tell? Um, <laughs> get the plates matching, like white, because these again will be useful all year round for our family. 
Um, but also, I just thought, so I actually have the marble, out of Asda, I've got these marble like pasta bowls that I'm going to use. And I've already got those. So I thought, and they'll go with white, basically, is my thought pattern to it. I didn't need deep bowls either. So like dessert bowls, I didn't need those. So then I thought, we're getting a whole set and it, I'd have to get two sets because I've got more than four place settings. So I just thought, you know what? Just get the plates. And I thought that these were really pretty. And these were like two pounds something each. Now, again, it might not work out that great expense-wise if you get set. But like I said, I would still need to buy extras. So that's where I'm going with that. But I still think that's good because I really think they're pretty plates. So yeah, I've got some plain white plates. Okay, so the next thing that I did get was these boxes. Now, I don't know about you, but I wasn't meant to get these this, this side of Christmas. I was going to get them in January because obviously IKEA have these things all the time. Because I have big plans. I have big plans on organising my life. You know when they say new year, new me? People go to the gym, like they do all this, that and the other. No, I'm going to be organising my life. My house and everything is going to be organised to a T. I'm going to have systems, you know, dreams of systems right now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so sad. I got these boxes and they are like folded cardboardy boxes, right? But I've wanted these been meaning to get these for a long time, but like I said, I was going to get them in January because I thought I won't be doing it till then. And they're like that. So they're like filing sort of boxes and you get a little metal, silver metal thing there to put the name of the box in. And then you've got like a silver edging. Now, I already have one of these. I had, I had it in, I bought it at, about a year ago, but I, when I only found it for about two months ago, and it's actually in there now. So it works perfectly for what I want. Now I got like six of these, and the reason why, I was gonna get them anyway, but the reason why as well that I got them now is because they were down to a pound each. So I thought that was really good because they're normally like one pound fifty each, which still is really good. That's the whole point. It's supposed to be really good for expense. But when I see them at a pound, I thought one, they might be selling out, like they might be discontinuing them and I need them. And two, pound each might as well. So I got six of them. But I won't be doing anything with these until after Christmas now because there's too much going on. I can't be sitting there organising the shelves when I've really got to be sorting up Christmas. Now, when I moved, I got rid of my ironing board that I had for about 10 years. And that's just because I was using my tumble dryer all the time. I hardly ever used an ironing board until I moved here. When I got rid of my tumble dryer because I didn't have space for it and I ended up having a washer dryer, you need to iron more when you have a washer dryer. Also, with Harrison going to school now, he wears like shirt, um, shirt. He wears like school trousers and things like that. Now they get creased and they need to be ironed. So there's a lot more, and our clothes generally need to be ironed. If you see some more videos where things are not ironed, they're so bad that I'm just lazy. It's not that I'm lazy, I, I just didn't have an ironing board and I would have to basically get a towel out like back in the day when I was younger and that used to happen. And I'd be doing it and I just think, you know what, I just need an ironing board. But the reason I didn't get an ironing board is because I don't want to use my space. So I got this. Now I've been eyeing this up for a long, long time and it's only four pounds and it's the little ironing board and it's actually a bigger little ironing board if that makes sense. So it's actually quite wide and I thought I could put it on my, you can obviously put it on the floor and do it or you could put it on the table. I can put it on my little island bit in my kitchen and just stand there and iron because yeah, at least I've got an ironing board. And what I thought I'd do is I'll hang this up. So I'll put like a, um, a hook behind the door in my utility and hang it up there. And then that will save space, you see? So I finally got one. I'm actually quite happy and really excited to use this. Don't ask why. Don't ask why, but I am. The last thing that I got from IKEA was this Christmas tin of biscuits. And it's little gingerbread biscuits. And these were like down to £2.75. And I really thought that was good. Just to let you know, though. Bear in mind I bought these yesterday. Yeah. That's all that's left. Yeah. And they're basically little hearts and they're little gingerbread, like thin gingerbread hearts. But they're really nice. So if you are needing to get any boxes of biscuits or like packs of anyone likes gingerbread biscuits, they're really, really nice by the way. Um, or even like an extra little present, £2.75. I thought that was really good. And I love the tin. I just love the tin because obviously the tin can be reused. So yeah, got some ginger briskets. Briskets? Biscuits. Biscuits. I didn't even speak today. So yeah, that's what I picked up from IKEA. Um, and also I wanted to quickly show you actually, I went to Primark the other day, first time since pre the second lockdown, whatever. Now I wasn't generally gonna do a haul because I just didn't have time to actually do one. But as soon as I'm sitting there showing you stuff anyway, and I've actually already worn these, so sorry about that. But 
I got these slippers and they are so soft. So I have all these, I'm sorry about that. They're so soft, oh, these were seven pounds. I just thought it was so different and they're so soft, honestly. So I got these slippers and then I also got these slippers. So I'm treating myself a lot before Christmas. Shouldn't really do this, but I thought, you know what? I don't care. So I got these slippers. Again, I've worn these as well, but they are super soft. So they're like, you know, them really soft, crossy ones, whatever you want to call it. They're actually really, really soft and really nice. Now these ones, I think were six pounds actually, but they could be, no, I think they were seven pounds and these were six pounds. Um, but yeah, and it's got hard bottom, so good if you need to go outside. But um, I absolutely loved these. Had to pick those up. And then also from Primark, I'll just show you this as well. I've been wearing it, by, by the way. But I got this dressing gown, which, by the way, is amazing. Um, I've been needing a new dressing gown. Never buy one normally for myself. Never, ever. Always wait for Christmas. But I'm telling you now, I've needed one. I'm one of them people that when I come in from like school run and things like that, I generally put a dressing gown over my clothes. Like whenever I answer the door to the Amazon man or the delivery man, I've always got my dressing gown on. But then I always have to say to him, listen, I am dressed. I am dressed. It's just this is my little coat. This is my comfort blanket. So I picked this up because I thought, Joe, you know it was only £15. And it is so, so nice. I've been wanting to dress and gut in like this for a very, very long time. Like a really nice, soft. It's got the fur bits there. And then it's got the fur bits there. So let me test it out for you. As soon as you know. Make it a bit of a Primark try on with a dressing gown. It's honestly so soft. And so cosy. Um, so yeah. Oh, shall I just keep it on now? Because let's be honest, this is what I actually do off camera. I actually just wear a dressing gown. Like, this is my attire, realistically, when I'm not on camera, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just treat myself to that because it's really cosy. So, um, yeah, I was really happy with those. And also, sorry, I'm just giving you a whole whole haul here. But to be fair, there's things that I can't show you in this haul because they are gifts and they are people that watch me. Like, I really would love to tell you what I got for my dad because it's a really good idea. But my dad actually watched my channel, funny enough. Um, so only, only just started not long ago, but he does see it and I don't want him to ruin the surprise. But when I was in Home Bargains the other day, I did get this BB cream and I've got this BB cream on now. Now I don't actually know what it looks like on camera, if you can tell, but I actually really like it. I usually use a really maximum wear foundation, but this is so good and easy to put on compared to putting on proper foundation, like a thick foundation and just put it on in the morning, it's so easy, like, even if you just put that on, like, to go to school, because I'm normally one of them that goes to school run with no makeup on, if I was to put that on, I would look a little bit more awake, or a little bit more, like, done, and it's easier to put on, I don't know why, but it is, it is. it's, um, um, I also, I've seen this about a few times, but I'm sure, um, it was Juliet, my friend Juliet's channel, I'm sure, um, which is being Mrs Dudley, I'm sure I see it on hers, and she was also talking about the Audi one, and the Audi one wasn't as good, but this one's from Home Bargains. It was like £1.99, I think. I think it was. Um, so I thought I would just jump on the bar again. I'm actually glad I did, because it's like a good daily thing. And it's like a blemish balm, so it's like, I've got light coverage, because I've got light skin. Um, it even skin tones, blurs imperfections, smooths fine lines, and hydrates skin, because it's got vitamin E and mineral pigments. So, more for that. So I just thought I'd show you that while we're here. Like, yeah, got that. Right, I'm now going to have to start wrapping because I've got a few bits to wrap today and I want to do nice wrapping today. So the kids are generally just wrap up sort of um, fun paper and then adults sort of and that type of thing. I like to do nice with bows, ribbons and all that. But yeah, let's go and do some wrapping because I've got a lot to do. Okay, so here's my little setup. I've got my wrapping paper. I'm going to do like adults in these ones. And then these are the kids, but um, yeah, I'm not going to do too many of those. I've done a lot of them the other day, but I'm going to try and get the adults done. And then I've got my little basket of madness. <laughs> it's because I've already been wrapping, so it's all gone a bit mad, but it was tidy a little before. But yeah, I've got my thing. I've got my ribbon that's everywhere and ribbon there. Scissors, so I need. And then see if I've used some of these to put in the adults presents so yeah let's get some wrapping done gotta be careful what i'm wrapping on camera because um I'm trying to remember which ones watch me and which ones don't which is quite hard because my mum watches me 
might have pretended not to watch it because I actually need to wrap her presents and they're the main ones I've got left. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <sighs> Let's crack on. This year's a bit of a funny year. Not the same, but are you going to see family? Are you holding Christmas? Because fun fact about me, I've said it before, I've never done Christmas at my house before. So I always said I was going to do it at my house this year anyway, with it being the first time being in this house. Um, but it would be really quite nice actually because the kids, I've never had Christmas at home. They've always gone to Jonathan's mum's or my mum's. Sorry, I'm biting this for my teeth because I'm, I'm sick of this. It's not working, the thing, it's not holding it. Um, but anyway, I, yeah, so I've never done a Christmas dinner. I know it's just a roast, but I've still never done it. So I'm actually really looking forward to it, but at the same time, oh, at the same time, I'm a bit nervous because I've never done it before. But, and I'm no good at cooking. I am good at the roast actually, to be fair, I'm not too bad. But um, yeah, it'd just be really nice. But hosting it, obviously it's the stress, isn't it, of making sure everyone's got food. But yeah, in mind. Also, in case you're wondering, I'm writing the name underneath um, the present instead of putting a label on because I can't find my labels. I don't know what I've done with them. So I'm just gonna do that for now. But yeah, anyway, let's carry on wrapping this. <laughs> I've just done these three for now. I haven't done them the best, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. They look nice. I've just This ribbon's gone all funny. I can normally do ribbon, but I just, I'm over wrapping already. Um, but yeah, and also I forgot I was meant to put something else in here, which I'm really annoyed about. I was meant to wrap it together. Never mind. So I've done that for now. So I'll do a little bit probably later on now, but for now I'm going to have a break from wrapping, I think. Oh, hello, Jerry. <laughs> What are we saying about my hair like this? What are we saying? What are we saying? Anyway, I've just had some crisps and I've got them in my mouth now. So, it's now a little bit later. Jonathan's gone to get the kids because um, I'm just feeling so tired. I really don't know what it is, but for the last few days, I have been so tired. So he's just gone to get the kids and I just thought, you know what, I'm feeling really lazy, I'm really tired. And I thought I might just get the kids some McDonald's. I know, so unhealthy, so bad for you. It's midweek as well, so it's not even the weekend. But I'm just feeling that tired. My kitchen's a mess. My hair's a mess and all. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'm really tired. Um, Jerry is really um, hungry by the looks of things, constantly up at me. Look, this is what he does. He's on my side as well, and I've told him to get off, and he won't get off. But this is what he does. You sit here. So I'm on the phone to my mum most of the time on FaceTime, and I'll be making a cup of tea, and I'll put my phone down, and all you'll see is Jerry do this. And he puts his um, paw up to me as well. Bearing in mind, this cat is the best fed cat in, in the UK, but yeah. Or in the world, should I even say, because he is literally so well fed. And then do what you normally do. You know, he put, puts his paw. Let's see if he does it. No, he's not going to do it now. So, yeah, uh, Jonathan's gone to get kids. So, I think I'm going to ring Jonathan now just to see, because he doesn't, he doesn't like McDonald's. Um, and I'm really hungry as well. And, yeah, all of them at McDonald's. So bad for you, but you know what? I just need a night of doing no cooking tonight, and tonight's the night. So yeah, I'm sure the kids will be really over the moon with it. 
So I'm gonna do that. I haven't done any more wrapping because I did do a chunk of wrapping um, the other night, uh, the other day, sorry. I've done loads, and I mean loads. Um, so I don't have too much more left to do, so I'm all right there. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna wait for him to come back and make a cup of tea. I sound like I've got a cold or whatever. I haven't. I'm actually very, very tired. I've been sitting on the sofa like this, like falling asleep. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether I'm anemic because sometimes I get like this and then if you're anemic stuff, you get tired, can't you? So I must double check I'm all right like that. But I am really tired at the minute, like every day. Um, so yeah, ordered some McDonald's because I'm starving as well. And then I'm sure the kids will absolutely love it when they come home. I also wanted to really quickly show you Harrison's new rug so I can all the mess of his room. But I bought this rug from B&M. It was only, it was £15. So it was a bit dear really for a small rug. However, it is the softest rug I have ever felt in my life. And the satisfaction of hoovering this rug is real. So look at the lines can you imagine the lines when I hoover that oh it is honestly so soft and I got it in grey and I know he's got grey carpet but they never had white they had literally grey or pink so I thought he'll love this and do you know what he's been doing he's been drawing on it so he's been like drawing pictures and stuff he honestly loves it he loves textures loves that really soft thing so he really likes a blankie but yeah I just want to show you that from B&M my B&M purchase this week as well so yeah, so that was his rug, and it is a little bit later on, as you can tell. I've now got my dressing gown on. I'm going to go and get a shower in like a minute and just chill out on the sofa, I think. But I thought I would end the vlog here because it's going on a bit long. And yeah, sorry that the ending's a bit tired and all that. But that's what I did today. I got some wrapping done. Um, I showed you what I got from Ikea, a little bit from Primark and stuff, and my B&M rug. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Making our Christmas memories.